Hello YouTube, it's Friday, this is Michelle, and I have a quick video share for you today. I feel like a movie director I've made so many cuts to this video. Um, my iPad mini does not like long ones, so I have to be brief and to the point. So a couple of months ago I joined Junk Journal Junkies and it was during the time when you had to complete several challenges in order to participate in their journal swaps. Well, while I was completing my challenges, I noticed and became addicted to watching uh, member shares uh, videos of their 6x9 mailing envelope journals. And the idea behind this is to use a 6x9 mailer to um, alter that mailer and create a journal from that mailer. So I grabbed up several uh, guest towels from my guest bathroom of the paper kind that you find either at the dollar store or Tuesday morning and some Mod Podge and decided to get in on the craze. So you see here I've got a couple of them using the one napkin which I loved. Depending on where you are in the napkin you get either a very dark goldenrod color all the way through to a beautiful aqua or teal color. So let me show you one that I've actually completed. Those are ready for signatures, but I finished one the other day. I found some dollar store teal ribbon, and I just couldn't wait to use it, and this was the perfect opportunity. So I've left the front cover very plain. I'm going to wait to see who I decide to give it to, who the recipient is, and then I'll add flowers, lace, etc., um, embellishments to the front cover. But I was able to get a bee dangle hanging from the silk ribbon that's been used to sew in the signature. The closure is very simple, it's just a ribbon that has been, it runs the length of the envelope. On the inside of the envelope it's been adhered and then there's a simple hole and there's a reinforcer that's also been Mod Podge for strength uh, so that the hole won't rip. So anyway, let me tell you about the journal. It has one signature of 10 pages. There are 23 tuck spots and pockets, including two made from packaging, uh, from product packaging. There are 17 tags slash journal cards, one paper clip in belly, two side pockets, which were made when the designer paper was folded in half. The papers used uh, were Tim Holtz Wallflower, Paper Studios Tattered and Torn, and there are lined, graph, plain, and doily coffee dyed papers. Um, there's some miscellaneous stamping throughout, including a little mini stamp set that I got in a swap that's uh, from Pier Primo. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the share. I'm going to do a quick flip through because it can't be more than five minutes. Otherwise, YouTube will not load up this video. Here we go.
So, there you have it. My first 6 by 9 junk journal. Everybody have a great day and happy crafting.